This morning I'm just making a protein shake. This is uh, kind of what I do in the morning. I switch it up. If it's not a protein shake, then I'll just uh, get a bowl with yogurt, put fruit in it, and then add, you know, my protein powder and seeds. But it's basically the same ingredients uh, every morning. And I just have uh, strawberries, banana, uh, my protein powder, this is a hemp protein powder that I uh, got at Trader Joe's. It's organic. A non-fat uh, Greek yogurt, and I like the honey flavored because it's already slightly sweetened for me. And then I do put uh, one Weetabix in there. And again, strawberries, hemp seeds, flax seed, and I'm out of um, I'm out of chia seeds, so I'll have to. Um, get more of those but uh, this is basically just my morning routine is a protein shake Right along with my uh, protein shake, I just have um, coffee or tea. In this case today, I'm having coffee, and that's a typical breakfast for me. So this is my salad, and uh, it's a quinoa salad. It's got quinoa there. This is uh, Thai tuna and croutons, parmesan feta, and a some kind of vegan dressing that I'm gonna try, and some greens, and that's salmon. So it should be pretty delicious. I love cheese boards. I love to put these together. They're so healthy to eat. And it's better than eating, you know, chocolate bars and just unhealthy snacks. So for tonight's dinner, I'm just making um, some chicken with ground jasmine rice. In this package, I just have some Jamaican uh, rub. It's just, um, you know, various spices that were already put together at the... Uh, at the grocery store. Here I have cinnamon. I don't know if they've already added cinnamon to this um, this jerk chicken or whatever rub, but I like cinnamon in it. I like the flavor that it gives and the contrast to the spices. So I've added cinnamon in this bowl and then um, I'm going to go ahead and um, add some of this in here as well. So I'm just going to place the rub on the chicken and then cook it up. Here we go. Go ahead and put the chicken in now. I wish you all could just smell this right now. It just smells amazing. The chicken's done. It looks amazing. I love this nice little crust on there. And uh, the rice is finished as well. And it's um, jasmine brown rice. I'm just going to fluff it up a little bit. It looks delicious and I'm ready to dig in. Delicious. And here I just added uh, some Greek Gods uh, yogurt. This is just a plain yogurt. So that's dinner for tonight.
try to do some gardening today, but I absolutely cannot because the weather has just been so bad and um, I just I have a lot of weeding to do. I figure since the weather is not too good, I won't plant my stuff uh, today, but I'll try to get in there if we get some good weather this week. There's just been so many weeds coming up, I need to get in this garden ASAP. I did see that uh, my roses are about to bloom. I see the little um, the little rosebuds. I'm just gonna make a quick uh, white bean dip. I'm not too too hungry for a big meal today, so I just thought I would have the crackers uh, with a white bean dip. And I will go ahead and show you how I make this. I just put this in the food processor. I do a mixture of cannelli beans and garbanzo beans. I add some garlic. I'm not going to use all of this. I'm just going to probably use maybe two of them. Um, I have turmeric here and olive oil, sea salt, lemon, and Italian parsley. So as you can see, I've added my Italian parsley, my whole lemon. I just cut it in half. I squeezed the juice out of it already and then just added the um, the lemon zest and the, you know, the whole lemon. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my cannelli beans, my garlic, and garbanzo and then I'm going to add some turmeric because I love turmeric I also love curry and then I'm going to add my um, olive oil all right so I'm just going to go ahead and start up my food processor This is my um, afternoon snack, uh, brown rice crackers with a white bean dip. Okay, so for tonight's dinner, it's really simple but healthy, and it's literally just three ingredients. I have um, cabbage that I have sliced up, and then I've also sliced half of an onion, and I have um, also sliced some linguisa, which is a staple item here at home, as you all know. Um, I'll show you the package. This is a Portuguese sausage or Spanish sausage. Uh, it's called linguisa, or it's also called chorizo. And again, not to be mistaken by Mexican chorizo, because Mexican chorizo is... Um, not a firm uh, sausage in consistency like this. Uh, Mexican, cho Mexican chorizo is really soft. I have added the uh, linguiça or chorizo to um, a skillet that I've uh, heated under medium high heat and a little bit of olive oil. And I'm just going to toast these up a little bit. I like them toasted first, and then I like to add them to the cabbage, but uh, if you just want to add the three ingredients together uh, when you're cooking, you can do that as well. Toasted these up. This is the way that we like them. Um, just kind of toasted, and then I'm going to transfer them over to my other pan. It's a good time now to add the linguiça. So this dish is basically done. I'm going to turn it off uh, the heat. I'm going to turn it off the heat. I'm going to cover it up for a little bit and it's going to be good to go.